dry track, the untreaded slick tyre is the king of grip, as the maximum area of rubber bites into the surface. But they are fair weather friends. A road tyre only has grooves to clear the water, it's the rubber which generates the grip. But a slick tyre can only push the rain aside, eventually aquaplaning on the surface of the water instead of the track. In these conditions, the rubber quickly cools and suddenly it's like driving on ice. There are two alternatives to solve this problem. The blue marked intermediate tyres bridge the gap between wet and dry. Shallow grooves cope with light rain, clearing 25 litres of water per second at speed and surviving until it's nearly dry. The deeper tread of the full wet tyre on the right will handle heavy rain and standing water, clearing up to 60 litres per second. But, like a fish, they need water to survive, given the brutal energy of a Formula One car. I'm going to do something really crazy. I'm going to run a wet tyre on a dry track. Just to show you, there's no way you can just carry a set of wet tyres the last few laps of a Grand Prix that the track is drying out. They just won't live. The tread blocks move around and generate a lot of heat, and it needs the water to cool them down. The increase in lap times from dry to intermediate to full wet were very significant. Tire choice can make or break a race. So difficult to make this judgment call now. What are they putting on intermediates? Of course, if you're five, six seconds faster for four laps, you may as well be out on these tires. You'll win a pit stop. Feels to me as if it's drying up. Those inters are He's given up on them. The yeah, he wasn't going fast enough, so that will have cost Lewis the race. I would have thought. Be on the right tyres at the right time.